Hello and welcome everyone, I'm Victoria and I'm really excited today to bring through a message from Source that's right for you. Right now in this moment, whenever this moment is for you, you are supposed to be watching this. There is a message there for you, something important. And before I even get into the cards that I pulled, I wanted to say that before that I did a meditation, before I started filming, <laughs> before I pulled the cards, um, and wanted to see if anything would come through. So something that I saw was shedding your skin. So now is a time when we're shedding our skins. Uh, it's like taking off your old clothes and putting on some new clothes. So you literally might even get inspired to start changing up your wardrobe, wearing some different things. Maybe the seasons are changing, so you have to change um, what you're wearing. But yeah, you might be feeling like you want to spice things up or just look different. Um, but ultimately, I think this is a message for inner work that um, a lot of people right now, well, everyone watching, is shedding their old skin. All of you right now have already done that or are in the process of doing it. And that's very exciting. Um, another thing that I saw is your third eye is opening and it was a particular type of third eye. It was like seeing the stars, opening to seeing the stars. Maybe everyone here is a star seed, so you're all opening your eyes to see, uh, you're literally your third eye opening it to see where you come from. Maybe you're just get some kind of knowledge on that. Maybe you're going to start reading or watching a lot of things about star seeds or star beings, maybe aliens, so on. Um, but yeah, I'm interested to see what cards came through, so let's take them out. So we got morning dew, soup, sub rosa, and after the rain. Actually, interesting that both morning dew and after the rain came out. I feel like, I guess, I don't know. I feel like there's a similarity there. Obviously, actually, here, when you start reading what's in the cards. Um, and it's also interesting that it's in this kind of order. First is coming morning dew, clarity, a fresh start, a positive outlook. Again, that change of clothes, just changing your outfit, um, your outfits up, like your whole style can make you feel like a whole new person, can make you change your energy. And it's changing towards the positive. So everything is changing towards the positive now. Um, and even your appearance can show that in some kind of way. And after the rain is about um, having that hope that whatever is over, you know, new things will come. Accepting that what's over is over and that new things will come after it. And um, I don't know, it's kind of weird. Like I said, that they're coming out like this. That makes me feel like at the start, even though you're you're starting off with the positive outlook and everything, there's still going to be some reluctance to accept that there's something that's over or you haven't, you wouldn't even realize yet that something is over. That like, It's like a part of you has left and maybe at some point you're going to miss that part. Or maybe you're, when you realize, you're going to realize, <laughs> when you realize that it's gone, um, you're kind of going to feel, feel a bit weird. I don't know. I don't want to say sad that it's gone. Maybe a bit of nostalgia. It's kind of like a lot of people look back at their school days or university days and they think, oh, those are some fun times because that's usually when a lot of people have fun. Um... So it kind of has that feeling. Like you don't really want to go back there, but also you kind of miss it. <laughs> um, so yeah, that interesting. If we're talking about the change of clothes, again, it can be like changing your style, but then you remember, oh, I used to wear this. It was still cute. It was still look nice, but I don't want to wear it anymore. I accept that, you know, I've actually changed and I'm on to something else. 
Um, but I, I still feel a bit nostalgic about it. Um, yeah, but also I feel like there's also a hope to a hope for the future as well. And let's talk about the Sub Rosa card as well. Hidden in plain sight, mysteries, learning, and teaching. I feel like this reminds me of the vision that I saw of the third eye opening and just seeing stars. Um, and learning and teaching, especially learning about all kinds of new things that are more hidden, that are less, um, you know commonly talked about, like star seeds, like aliens, like um, just thing, things about the universe. I don't know. I feel like now is the time when taking off the old clothes um, will really, really help. Like it's a re this renewal where from this renewal will come a positive outlook, but also an interest in these kinds of topics. Um, in the hidden and you also I feel like you have this within you like this knowledge is within you you just need to find it somehow and actually I love this saying this knowledge is within you you just need to find it I don't think it's just that it's in your DNA it's in your brain part of it is that because you know we're all one this is a message from source we're all part of source. We are source ourselves. Um, so in that way, it's like, it's in you. You just need to find it. And maybe it's in a book or on a web page. And you just need to find it. That's still part of you. That's still part of us. Everything is a part of us. And I don't know, that's just crazy to think about right now. I for some reason, it's blowing my mind. <laughs> that you can take that saying in this kind of way. Like even things that you need to actively seek out, like uh, let's say a book, it's still a part of you. It's still you. And if you look higher, you know, it's still part of you. I, I don't know. I'm going to stop. <laughs> um, but maybe you're going to go through these kinds of situations too, where you're going to be feeling mind blown by what you're learning and you're going to be like, oh my God, really? I never knew this or I knew this, but I also, I also feel like I didn't and I feel like I'm learning something new. I don't know, you know, like that kind of feeling. <laughs> um, anyway, let's see what tarot cards I got here. So we got the Ace of Swords, the Nine of Pentacles, the Knight of of pen pentacles, the ace of pentacles. Wow, that's a lot of pentacles. So a lot of abundance is coming through here. The empress, the two of cups, and the justice card. Okay. So I see, obviously I said there's a lot of abundance here. Ace of swords with the nine of pentacles really makes me think that uh, one of the new things that's coming for you and that you're going to start embodying in a, is an abundance mindset. Obviously, the Ace of Swords is coming out perfectly here. You know, when we're talking about learning, when I was talking about shedding your skin and be becoming renewed, you know, something new starting, positive outlook, like a fresh new start, pos fresh new positive outlook. And this positive outlook is going to also come with you feeling so abundant and realizing that, you know, you don't, I, I'm really getting the feeling, you don't need to be a millionaire to be abundant, to be financially abundant, to feel it. You can be just an, at an average wage and still feel abundant. It, it, you're not limited. Money doesn't limit your feeling of abundance. Your feeling of abundance, though, limits your money. <laughs> I hope that makes sense. The less you feel abundant, the more you focus on prices, the more you focus on, no, maybe I shouldn't buy this because um, I don't know if I'll have enough money or maybe I should, you know, save. Um, or maybe also overspending as well can 
can be a disruption too. Like constantly feeling the need to, when you have money, feeling the need to spend it. Like, oh, I got my paycheck. Well, time to buy those things that I wanted. And then you're out of money again. Again, that's an out imbalance and uh, abun in your feelings of abundance. So something that will come now and you can kind of help yourself um, get more of that is this feeling of abundance. Try to notice when you're thinking about money in a negative way and stop yourself. And, you know, if you're if you're talking to a friend and you randomly start saying something like if you're talking about some product and you're like, oh, yeah, but it's expensive or uh, oh yeah, it's money that's the problem here. Don't even say that. Delete that. Instantly delete. <laughs> um, that's literally you telling yourself that, you know, that you're not abundant and so on. Um, I feel like I'm going on for too long on that, but I hope you guys get it. Abundance. Abundance mindset. And from that, I think you'll start gaining things and you'll start realizing that you changing your mindset and your view and just having a more positive outlook has really helped you create more abundance in your life because first you have to have the feeling then you create and uh, what's important there is also grounding pentacles you know earth energy is very grounded grounding all of this creation all of this thought needs to be grounded so you need to make sure that if you're someone who's really up in the clouds, very air-headed, like maybe has a lot of air signs in their chart or water, um, you need to make sure to ground yourself more often because this energy needs to get grounded, especially the good one. And if you find that a lot of your manifestations haven't come um come true or just come to the physical it could be because you're not grounded enough I had to say that i feel like someone needs to hear it um but I, I can see that you'll be all getting very grounded soon and with the knight of pentacles slowly slowly creating these things and it, it really feels like you know he i'm getting the feeling like he went to the store he bought this um, donut and then he's delivering it to someone to the empress and the empress is so 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 abundant so you're slowly gonna grow slowly gr going to grow into someone who's very 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 uh, abundant you just have the the feeling when people meet you they they think oh this person must be so wealthy or you know I don't know, that 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 kind of feeling. <laughs> and with the justice here, I can see that if, if in the past you have struggled a lot with money, if you've been very, very poor, um, I think you will start getting a lot more now um, because of this change of mindset, because of learning how to also um, do all of these things, how to properly manifest these things, because... In the past, you it feels like you didn't know. You were just asking for it. Like, get, I want money, 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 money. Give me money. No, you're not supposed to ask for money. You're supposed to just help yourself feel abundant. And I know it's so hard when you're, um, when you're really poor to do that. But um, if you're watching this, then there is a way. And I can see that it will come to you. It will happen. And I am getting the feeling that for some of you, it will bring you together. Having this change of mindset will bring you together with someone very special. Uh, maybe someone you already know and is already in your life and you'll just get closer and closer. Or you're going to meet someone very special, soulmate or some kind of very close connection. Um Someone who you'll be very close to in the future too. And you're, you're, it's like you're drawing them in. You're manifesting them because you've changed your mindset and you've changed, you know, you've shed your skin. You're a whole new you and you're looking forward to life. You know that, you know, whatever comes, comes and you'll just take it and roll with it and have fun. That's the kind of feeling I'm getting with you. <laughs> but also still a very grounded energy. 
Um, and yeah, with the justice, like I said, I, I really do feel like there will be a shift in things. Like the scales um, are going to get balanced out. Look how they're balanced. So that's that's pretty exciting. I want to see what other cards will come through from some other decks. So I hope we will get some now. So we got Earth Pulsing. Pulse of the Mother, Slow Down, Time and Nature. Um, I think, again, Earth and Earth Energy and... Also, this kind of feminine energy as well. A lot of uh, divine feminine energy and earth energy. Being grounded is going to be so important. Again, if you're trying to manifest something, you need to ground yourself. Make sure that your crown and your root chakra are, you know, not blocked. <laughs> Uh, ground yourself but also if your trouble your troubles could be in the upper chakras as well and your troubles could be in the middle chakras too so again it, it's important to try to balance things out but I think you shedding your skin is going to help balance those chakras and everything um and slowing down as well with Knight of Pentacles and just so many Pentacles, which is a slower energy. Um, just slowing yourself down. Your thoughts, they can, you know, be faster. They can be quick. But slowing down in general, um, taking more time to do things and being more conscious of um, how it... While you're doing things not to preoccupy yourself with too much. Like, try not to watch videos while, um, I don't know, while doing random things. Try to just be there with your thoughts. And I can see that with all paths lead to home as well. In our authority, intuition, turn your gaze within. That's going to be very important to turn your gaze within. To try to stay... By yourself with your thoughts in nature would be best obviously but even at home when you're doing something don't turn on anything just stay in silence and see if any thoughts come up address them see why they're coming up you know they're coming up for a reason and see how you feel just being there just with yourself it's so important to do that um another thing is meditation is coming through for me a lot. <clears throat> you need to spend more time meditating, especially if you're trying to actively manifest things. Meditating more is going to help a lot. Clearing your mind um, and trying to do some kind of meditation where maybe doing a meditation where you're Im envisioning yourself shedding your skin and um, clearing all of the energy in you, balancing your chakras, balancing your energy. Uh, you could do a meditation where you're calling in abundance as well. And that could help. Um, but yeah, I can see that meditating is going to be very important. And I, again, there's a big feeling of you have this information how to do everything already. You know everything. Um, it's like it just needs to be reminded to you. Reminded and also it needs to be found. So a lot of cards came through here. We have new opportunities. Declutter your life. Glimpse a magical doorway. Again, new opportunities, new outlook. Maybe some new things will actually be coming into your life, like a new job opportunity, um, new finances of some kind. I'm hearing inheritance for some people. Um, also, another thing, new places you could move to, possibly. New house. More like a new place to move to. Maybe someone out there will be finding one. Um, yeah, that's not going to work out. <laughs> Uncord relationships. Let go now. Forgiveness is freedom. 
It really is reminding me of the after the rain card. This card on chord relationships. Let go and accept that what's over is over. And you're moving on to something new and something better. Maybe some of you have gone through some something recently. Some of you could have gone through some kind of breakup. Maybe not even recently, but... Um, a breakup that left a big scar on you or a breakup with a friend <laughs> um the other card that came through is violet flame invoke the cosmic diamond violet flame transmute all that is not love and again this is exactly like shedding your skin shed all of that negativity all of the darkness everything that you don't need anymore everything that's not for your highest good anymore release it and call in love call in abundance ultimate abundance energy unconditional love call that in when you release because you need to replace what has been released if you don't it's just gonna come back um but i can't see that for you it's not gonna come back i can see so many good things coming so be excited guys Good things are coming to you and enjoy them. It's going to be slow though. Don't expect things to come like that. It's not going to come fast. You need to slowly grow. You're going to slowly grow uh, on the inside and on the outside. And remember that first things happen on the inside and then you see the outside. Earth energy is just naturally slower. So you're going to have to uh, be patient. But again, remember, good things are coming. And yeah, I think I'm going to end it here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, let me know in the comments below. Um, if you're interested in a personal reading, details on how you can contact me are also down below. And yeah, if you enjoyed it, I mean, like and subscribe. I post videos every Tuesday and Friday. And if you have any suggestions for future videos, also let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear uh, your guys' suggestions, and I love to do them as well. So yeah, I hope you have a great day, though. Bye-bye!